This is Pat Dunn, and we're playing Skyrim. Right now we're in Ranfag's uh, Fast, and we are down here for the purpose of acquiring a staff for Professor Enethir. So, let's get to it. I can see somebody moving up ahead, I think. Yeah. I can hear some footsteps. Let's summon one of these guys and call up a bell. So you do, I do feel kind of bad uh, killing these guys. They do seem to be kind of unhappy to uh, to be fighting me. But at the same time, sneaking by them would be just about impossible. So you have to be willing to... Uh, I don't know, maybe they, they would be happy to be freed of whatever's controlling them. At least I, I hope that's the case. So we're going to keep on casting Muffle in hopes to get good at uh, uh, enough at Illusion to be able to reach invisibility soon. And you can see that I have a very good MP regeneration at this point. And, uh,. Looks like an area that probably has some foes in it. Uh, yeah. Huh. So that's a pretty tough choice. Or, or a pretty tough ghost. Apparently ghosts can be pushed around pretty well. And up ahead we see a treasure chest. This does seem like an obvious trap. Some kind. Let's see what's going on. Aha! That looks like a trap door of some kind. I'm gonna reach the chest first and then maybe drop down into the... okay, there's nothing in there. So Kind's Peace is a shout that, uh... Huh. Okay. Trap... oh, shoot. Well, I'm sure enough I'm gonna get out that... I'm going to loot the bodies before I do anything. Ooh. Unfortunately for you, I have lockpicks. Fortunately for you, I only have so many lockpicks. Okay, so a little bit to the right. Let's try not quite that far. Okay, a little bit less far to the right. And the game seems to be interrupting my attempts to lockpick uh, pretty often. A little bit further, a little bit further. So we're definitely in this area over here with a lot of cracks. Let's try the first crack. No. Let's try the second crack on the lock, or maybe halfway to the second crack. That looks like it's it. Unfortunately for you, dude, yeah, I wasn't interested in staying in that chain. Uh, 
but you're also doing some pretty good damage against me. He is dead, and Jusargo and I are happy. Staff, key, another staff, and of course some robes. Looking good. So that's what we came here for. Um, we might as well see if there's anything else around here that's important. So this is the journal of the dude that just wanted to trap us. This looks like a spell book in destruction, so it's not actually that useful. But I think I accidentally picked up a ruined book. Let's drop that thing. Those things are never, well, they're almost completely uh, useless. There is one place in the game where, where they're potentially useful. But it's a part of the game. It involves an obscure feature beneath the College of Winterhold, and I don't generally bother with it. So that guy's shtick is apparently to to have that trap up there, and apparently there are enough adventurers that just come along that he can get everything he needs. Um, from them as they drop. Which is kind of ridiculous. This world must have a lot of adventurers. But... Oh well. Embalming tools, you would think, based on how they look, that they're a useful weapon or something, but they're not. So there are stairs. I think that's another ghost. Sorry, Mr. Ghost. I don't want to do this. At least you're free now. Uh, free from life and... And your goods are available at no cost to anyone who would want to buy them. So, so this is kind of a confusing looking area. Corridors. That looks blocked off. It really is kind of dark in here though. But I'm not seeing any foes. Maybe that really is all there is to this uh, dungeon. Okay, well, I guess that's it. I will head back. So, again, there are two things that I, I want to do. I'm going to return this lost bit of poetry to the College of Winterhold. And then I need to head uh, or, uh, to the, uh, I'm sorry, to the Bard's College in Solitude. And then I need to head back to the College of Winterhold to return the staff to uh, Enethir. So let's use the map and quick travel up to Solitude. Actually, we're going to travel to the Blue Palace. because it's closer to the Bard's, uh, Bard's College. Okay. So the Bard's College, it's not a particularly useful place. It does have that speech trainer. But there are three quests uh, in the Bard's College that will improve a whole bunch of your, uh, your skills by one. And that can be kind of handy. There's one quest that you can do that will improve all your warrior skills by one, another that improves all your uh, mage uh, skills by one, 
and another one that improves all your uh, thieving skills by one. And given that a few of those skills are uh, are hard to level, it's a uh, it's a good bargain. A uh, good good bargain for your time, anyhow. There's also just some hilarious dialogue when you join the Bard's College here. And you get to a, a, attend a uh, ceremony in the Earl's Palace that is part of the humor. Okay, so... I need to find the guy who, to whom I'm supposed to deliver this. I think it's Viarmo. that are readable. Well, bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. So there's but probably I some truth to this in, uh, in real life. Verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf Festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival, it means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Make it up. I suppose I could copy his style, but... Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayed, death-dealing demon, your legend is lo... Your co... King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon. I find that highly <laughs> unlikely. I, I love it. I love it. Writing it in. Olaf, from Fall Greek, but... Olaf, strange. According to histories. Oh, that is exciting! I'm sure the court and the Yara will love it. I'm, I'm writing it in. It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. Okay. I need to head so, yeah, that's pretty hilarious. So, basically, we falsified history for the amusement of, of uh, the Yara. So that the Bards College can hold a, a slightly edgy um, ceremony that they they held every year. Apparently, uh, the Jarl uh, she after her husband was killed and she became the Jarl, she canceled the ceremony because she thought it would be in poor taste to have something celebrating uh, the death of kings. So we're going to go and uh, and present the restored poem to her in an attempt to convince her that the ceremony should go on. Now this is something you'll notice if you have light armor, even if you don't have a lot of stamina, you can run a lot further um, before uh, wearing out compared to if you're wearing heavy armor. There are some perks that you can uh, you can get that will lessen or eliminate the effect of weight on uh, on your armor, but otherwise you just have to have a lot of stamina if you want to keep running for a long distance, or you need to carry a lot of uh, stamina potions with you. Actually, let's see. I am the Yarrow Steward. Okay, we didn't do that yet. Talk to me. Nor that yet. Okay. Vampires are clever hunters. Be quick. I had you figure. So let's see if we have anything that she would like to buy. Okay. Uh, I guess we can sell. Oh, we can buy some more soul gems uh, from her. That's good. And then we can sell her our remaining uh, staves and books. Looking good. So where is that guy? 
Let's wait an hour. Maybe he'll show up. Well, there he is. Good. I do hope. I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. So, if you talk to him at other times, he'll express how he would. Uh, although he is a, um, a high elf, he doesn't particularly care for all the politics. Um, involved between the Aldemary uh, Dominion and the Empire. He's more devoted to his art. And there are, there are actually plenty of High Elves in the game. She apparently is really interested in staring at her thanes. Ah, Viarmo. I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf Festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda. Recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our okay, so yeah, this is kind of boring. Betrayer. Death dealing demon and dragon killing king, your legend is lie. At least it's boring when you're trying to do a, a let's play. It's actually pretty good. Um, in the sense of uh, being good story. No fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf was Numenex in human form. Why are they looking at me? Look at him, guys. Not me. Look at him. I guess I am kind of funny looking. But solitude stood strong. Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Olaf gave orders, winter hold disguises. An attack on solitude, total destruction to follow. His men dressed So the elven gear that you can wear, it's not actually that impressive looking. You look a lot more epic once you're in glass gear or uh, dragon gear. Guys, look at him, not me. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. So because she sides with the Empire, she's learning to interpret the condemnation of false kings. Uh, or, Treating the story not so much as a story about the death of kings, but a condemnation of false kings, which is helping her see it as being about the Empire's side rather than the um, Stormcloak Rebellion's uh, side. Unbelievable! You've done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Soon, I need you to tell him to fit. Unbelievable! Okay, so now we need to return to the Bard's College, and there will be a ceremony. And then I will be a Bard, which doesn't really do anything, except it lets me take three quests that, as I said, will improve a bunch of my skills. But the ceremony is kind of neat. And it's just kind of uh, fun hanging out in the towns and getting a feel for the people of them. Now the towns, and this is kind of a general uh, complaint with uh, with video games, they are not nearly big enough to support all this infrastructure. In that you would probably need to have several hundred people in each of these towns in order to really have them work economically. Nobody's going to build um, build so many giant structures for the small number of people that live in uh, in solitude, for example. 
And you'll notice that in, in basically every RPG that has towns, from Pokemon to... Um, I don't know, the, the Legend of, uh, of Zelda series when it had towns, they're, they're just not big enough. It does help keep the player's attention focused around things that you can legitimately... Not my fault, I didn't do it. That you can legitimately interact with. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. Okay. Because you're not going to waste a lot of time um, wandering around NPCs that don't really have anything to say to you except thank you for saving my town or something like that. So we have to wait until nighttime and then talk to this guy again. I don't know what counts as nighttime. Let's try 8 p.m. Okay, is it late enough? Good. Okay, so let's step outside. So actually, for the amount of structure that Solitude has, it's possible that you would need to have people working the fields around it for quite a ways. This is kind of a, this is the kind of structure that you build when you've tamed an entire land, and you don't have so many. Like you might still have forests uh, that are dangerous, but they would be further out. But I suppose conceptually, the map is meant to represent a much larger area than something that you could walk across uh, reasonably in a few days. You can see that they've got things set up. Thank you so much. The festival has really increased my sales. Might as well have some sweets. I made them for the festival after all. Okay, I'm not gonna be greedy. Too greedy. Not too bad. Oh, great, some you apple pie. Might have a spiced wine. Festival meat pies. I said a free meat pie, as in one. Here's yours. The apple pies are not meat pies. I heard you're the reason we get to have this. Thank you. And this is the uh, the king. It's going to be burnt. Welcome to solitude. Uh, uh, yeah, he gave me the default intro. We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. Yeah, their clapping animation is not that great. Although maybe in this world, uh, that's what clapping is like. We remember all those solitude soldiers out fighting the good fight in this thankless war. Okay, so I'm a bird now. 1250 gold. That's a pretty good chunk of gold. I suppose it's... So... So where did he put his drum just now? It's actually a, a pretty cool festival. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete. Yeah, say that louder. People would love to hear it. Anyhow, we're gonna pop in and try and catch the people who assign those quests. We might need to wait until tomorrow because they might be out celebrating.
I think they have the bedrooms that are over here. Um, ah, there's one of them. It makes me oh, over here. But they also stole. Finn was the bard until he found a way. The loot they stole is Finn's original eight course loot. Okay. So that's one of the three time. musical instruments we need to recover. There are two more. This is. A drum. Move. Jazargo, move. Good. And then we need to find. Uh, okay, good. And there's a flute that needs to be found. Okay, so we will mark these in our quest thingy. And uh, those are three more quests that the game will let us know when we're in the right vicinity to... when we're in the right vicinity to take care of them. So now we are going to head eastwards to the College of Winterhold to deliver um, the staff to Enethir. I hope I didn't sell that staff. Hmm. Well, normally the game is pretty good about not letting you accidentally get rid of uh, quest items. I think I'm going to trust that that worked. Wow, just step outside and the festival's already over. They are really good at managing, prepping, and finishing for parties. Okay, back at the college. Let's hope that yet another dragon doesn't attack, because that's getting kind of ridiculous. I think he should be over to the left here. Again, something that you really shouldn't say out loud so much. So good at losing his alembic. So I looked up what an alembic is. It's an alchemy, or well, not alchemy. It's a chemistry thing. Well, all right. You can't imagine what he expects to do with that. Okay. Beyond any ability to capture. So that is what needs to be delivered to Arneil. I think he he's over here somewhere. Oh, where is he? If, do I have some notes that I haven't read yet? No. Hmm. Because the game seems to think that I might. Well, let's wait an hour, see if he shows up. I'm working on some very important research. There you are. The exact Wonderful. Thank you for this. 
I have a great deal of work ahead of me. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Until next time. And I guess I really need to uh, wait. Might be a whole day before uh, he gives the next quest, or it might be actually two days. So that's one day. Let's find out where is he. There you are. Divines bless you. Okay, maybe it's two days. See if he is ready to give me the next stage of the quest. I guess in theory you're you're supposed to leave and find uh, and come back again to talk to him. I'm working on some very important research. The exact nature. He asked. I think that okay. Maybe not. Well, I guess I'm not going to stick around for too much longer. So maybe. I might try and find a trainer. Maybe I'll train in alchemy. Until next time. Because that should be reasonably cheap now, and it should give me a, a good chunk of progress. It'll probably take me to level 40. And the best alchemy trainer, at least at this point, is going to be over in Whiterun. So let's head over there. I did have a list somewhere around here for things that I wanted to do. And there seems to be some other kind of magic that you can't practice in the game uh, that the Forsworn can manage. Maybe I'll head over to Mark Hearth and start on the Forsworn series of quests. I don't remember if I've bought a house in this uh, city or not. Till day. Pop in here to We need to wipe them out before things get worse. So she's an alchemy uh, trainer. Yep, 38, so it's not too expensive at this point. And I can actually sell her some of my alchemy potions. Which seems like a good idea because I probably have a fair bit of them at this point. So I don't like the lingering effects, nor the regeneration effects. I think I talked about that already. Um, the filters of strength are kind of useful if you just need to carry a little bit more briefly. But they're not, um, not that amazing. And 
And the weakness attacks are great if you're a magic user who wants to attack with the bow first. Otherwise, they're not that um, they're not that amazing. I don't tend to keep around stamina regeneration things. These are among my favorite things to sell. And I got enough to level up, so let's take the level up and improve our health. And here we're at 95 enchanting. This lets us make a glass armor. Uh, now, this isn't at all like the glass in the real world. And what will we be thinking about for our next leveling? We could improve weapon skills like archery or one-handed. Could Can't take one-handed yet. Uh, or can't improve one-handed, uh, one the, the basic damage dealing one yet. But we could do archery. And we could think about doing armor... We have a lot of options, and maybe by then, oh, merchants is something I really should take when I can get. So that's pr that probably will be what I do next. Now that I have leveled up, I'll take five more levels in alchemy, and I'll sell some more potions. This pushed me all the way up uh, and uh, halfway to the next level, which is pretty good. Let's see how much of that I can get back by selling potions I don't need. The frenzy potions, they are kind of fun. But it's really more that they're fun than that they're useful. And I found that typically you won't be in situations where you need a specific resistance that often. These things definitely show how important it is to um, to level your alchemy skill height. So that'll be all for this run. I'll see you in the next one.